hello you can see in front of me I have three different substances here actually these are three different types of starch this one is rice starch this one is corn starch and this one is potato starch so I'm going to compare these three starches today in terms of their amylose content now starch as you may know that starch contains amylose and amylopectin now the iodine test which is used to test for starch is actually a test for amylose so I'll use this principle actually in this experiment to estimate which of the three starches will have of amylose here I have iodine solution in front of me so I'll use this iodine solution to test for the amylose content the so darker the color of the test greater is the amylose content so now I have taken equal amounts that is 0.7 grams of each of these starches in each of these three test tubes this one is having rice starch this one is having corn starch and this one is having potato starch so let's add equal amounts of water to all so now we can do the iodine test to see at the color of the three solutions you can see in the leftmost one I think the rice starch sample is the lightest it is light violet color then the middle one corn starch is a dark brinjal purple color and then towards the right the potato starch is completely blue black color so a very clear cut observation I can make from this so as I said that iodine test is basically a test for amylose a complex is formed between amylose chains and the iodine so that gives the blue black color so we can say from this that rice starch is having least amylose then it's the cornstarch and the maximum amylose content having the maximum blue black color is the potato starch so here based on the intensities of the color we just compared the amounts of the amylose present in these three starches but actually a very technical method is using a colorimeter so using the technique of colorimetry the exact concentration of amylose can be determined by using the intensity of these colors one thing that can be learned from this is that potato starch having the maximum amylose content out of these three is a better option by a nutritional point of view that starch with greater amylose content is a better option nutritionally because such starch known as as resistant starch is quite highly resistant to digestion by alpha amylase enzyme so it actually smoothens our digestive tract and acts as a fiber to keep our digestion going on smoothly greater the amylose content better is the quality of the starch so thank you for watching this video and do not forget to like subscribe and share